Before you start a course, there are a few things to prepare. In the timetable, you can open a new course, check and manage the timetable. Touch the Add button on the upper right side of the screen and enter the information about the course such as the course name and so on. In the timetable settings, you can select the period for the new course. If the repeat weekly box in the upper left corner is checked, a timetable is created automatically for the same weekday and time throughout the said period. If you uncheck the box, a timetable is created only on a daily basis. Touch the Tap to Add Students button and select the students. If the students are registered in other courses, you are unable to select their names. You can move, delete, and add lesson by touching the edit button at the top of the screen. If the lesson repeats every week, you can choose to delete one of the following options. This lesson only, this and future lessons, or all lessons. Let's walk through the steps for course material registration as a main function. Select a course you want in the timetable. Touch the Upload button at the top of the screen and register the necessary course material file. Very easy, right? In case the course materials are already registered in the library, you can multi-register with a simple touch of the Set Course button at the top of the screen to set the material for the selected course for the selected lesson. Now you are ready, so let's start the lesson. When you enter the lesson, the pre-registered course materials for the lesson will be open. When you touch the Attendance tab, you can check the participating students and their attendance. Students can view the course material their instructor prepared from the list of course materials on the left side. Instructors can use the Write function to write on the content screen. Or offer additional explanations with a whiteboard. Also, you can create and save the S-Note while using the course material or whiteboard during a lesson by touching the S-Note tab on the right side and review your notes during the lesson. If there is course material you have not registered yet, you can register it during the lesson. Select the file saved in the instructor's tablet and register it as course material. You can also send the course material to the students by touching the Send Files button. Students can open course materials received by touching the file on the Course Files button and view it on their tablet by rotating it according to the content's direction.